Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarush and in this video I'm going to answer one question. Is the Lenovo Chromebook Duet still worth a buy in 2021? So I'm a primary school teacher and my work laptop is primarily used for doing research, uh, making lesson plans and making lessons in different formats such as PowerPoint and Google Slides. So these are the things that I, as a teacher, need my device to have. It needs to run Microsoft Office and it needs to run it well. It needs to run Google Apps and run them well. It needs to be able to run multiple tabs and apps at the same time. It needs to have a decent keyboard and also a couple of USB ports, an HDMI port and a headphone jack. Now with that said and explained, let's get into answering the question. Is this device worth a buy in 2021? To answer it, I'm going to split this video into three acts. Let's get into it. Act one, the honeymoon phase. The model I picked up has these specifications. Looking at these numbers and specs, I knew I wasn't picking up a particularly strong device, but I'd read and heard on the internet that Chrome OS isn't a demanding operating system. If you don't know what Chrome OS is, I've made a separate video, which I'm going to link over here somewhere. So, you can follow that link and find out more about Chrome OS. Back to what I was talking about, the lower specs on the Duet. This was a non-issue for me because I was picking up a second-hand device and I was only paying $180 Australian for it. And the seller was including a free stylus. And just for a little bit of perspective, Amazon Australia is selling this device brand new for $500. So I knew I was getting it for a very good price. After setting it up, I immediately fell in love with it. I especially love the form factor and the fact that it came with a keyboard and a trackpad that snapped onto the display. I also really love the display too. It's super bright and crisp. The keyboard was nice to type on and the trackpad did the job just fine. I looked through the Play Store and started downloading all the apps that I use for work and Honestly, everything just seemed to work. In fact, I was so happy with the Duet that I ended up packing away my main laptop after a few days because I just wasn't using it anymore. The Duet was doing everything for me at the time. And with that, let's get into act two, the denial phase. Fast forward a few days later, a couple of things really started to bother me. So firstly, the keyboard is just too small. Sure, it was good enough for replying to an email or typing like a short comment somewhere or tweeting or something short like that. But when it came to doing heavy duty work, like working on lesson plans, creating lessons on PowerPoint or Google Slides, the keyboard was just too uncomfortable. And I mean, that's not really a big problem because I happen to have a really nice Logitech Bluetooth keyboard lying around the office. So I grabbed it, synced it up to the device and bam, problem solved. With the Lenovo keyboard detached from the device, I no longer had a trackpad. And I mean, the trackpad wasn't anything amazing and I wasn't going to miss using it. And I happen to have a USB-C hub that I connected to my device. I connected my mouse to it and bam, problem solved. And at this point, actually, I was pretty happy with my setup. I had a nice screen, I had a really nice keyboard and I was able to use my mouse with everything. There was this small issue of charging the device while a hub was connected to it. Turns out the power brick that comes with the device has issues charging it while there's a hub connected. Luckily, the charger I was using with my Pixel 3a managed to do the job. So bam, problem solved. I also realized that sometimes I like to listen to music while doing my work. Unfortunately, the first hub that I had didn't have a headphone jack, so I ended up having to buy another one. So problem solved. I think it was around this time where reality started to sink in a little bit. Let's talk about it in act three, the acceptance phase. So about a month after buying and using the Duet on a daily basis, I realized that I was really trying to make it work as my daily driver. For example, at work, there were many times when I just couldn't connect to our school network. And for obvious privacy reasons, I can't show you any footage of this happening and you might just have to take my word for it. I know for a fact that this problem has nothing to do with the Duet itself, because at home, I've never had problems connecting it to my Wi-Fi. So it's obviously an issue with my school network and its compatibility with Chrome OS. But look, as a teacher, the last thing I want is to have to deal with this problem, especially when I have a group of very impatient seven-year-olds wanting to watch a story on the board. Also, another issue I had at work I got really tired of having to carry around the hub everywhere. 
I know it may not seem like a big deal, but I realized that as a teacher, I really need my device to have all the ports that I need handy so I don't have to fiddle around with the hub. Then again, there was the issue of the Lenovo keyboard being too uncomfortable to use. Now, don't get me wrong, for an accessory that comes with the device, the keyboard and the trackpad are just fine, they're okay. But for my use, which is fairly heavy, especially at work, this keyboard and trackpad just couldn't cut it. At home, the Duet was a lot more comfortable to use, especially when I had the hub attached to it. I found myself going back to my laptop if I had to do stuff for work, but when it came to light internet browsing and media consumption, I found the Duet to be actually perfect. And with that, I'm going to answer the question we started this video with. Is the Lenovo Chromebook Duet still worth a buy in 2021? And the answer is, well, it depends. It depends on what you're going to use it for. If you're expecting it to handle multiple apps and tabs at once while you're listening to music and trying to create a PowerPoint presentation, then the answer in my experience and opinion is no. The Duet is not gonna cut it for you. There's also a thread on Reddit that confirms this. There is this person asking for advice on whether or not they should buy a Chromebook Duet for university. And almost every single reply is telling them that it's not going to work as a main device, but if they're going to use it as their secondary device, then it would be very good. So if you're looking for a device for live internet browsing, maybe watching YouTube and Netflix videos, then the answer is, hmm, maybe. This device right now is selling for $450 on Amazon Australia, and that's on sale. I mean, look, if that price is okay for you and you can afford it, then by all means, go for it. You're not gonna go too wrong with this. But if that's a lot of money for you to spend on something like this, like it is for me, then my suggestion would be to look somewhere else or maybe try and get it secondhand for a cheaper price. And speaking about the price, I was lucky enough to already have some accessories at home that I could use with the Duet. I ended up having to pay $70 <laughs> for another USB-C hub. I ended up using a Logitech K380 Bluetooth keyboard that I already bought for $80. <laughs> and if you're going to buy a Pixel 3a charger, it's going to cost you $20 to get it from eBay. So if I was to get all this stuff right now, I'm going to have to fork out more than $600 just so I can have a pleasant experience using this device at home. And I mean, at that price point, I could get something better. I could even pick up an iPad. So sadly, the Duo didn't cut it for me. And right now is in the process of getting sold because I just don't use it anymore. I've gone back to using my laptop full time until I figure something out later. But I'm interested. Does the Duo work for you? If so, what do you use it for? And how do you make it fit your workflow? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna be there to check out your answers. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Maybe I missed something. Anyways, that's been it. I hope this video was helpful. If that's the case, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Until next time, see you later.